See how it goes in terms of getting through all of this news. Tonight, it is the Halloween Havoc NXT edition and Dynamite. And Dynamite was taped last week, so it's a taped show. NXT, however, scheduled to be live. And a few days ago, I may have some of this story wrong, because trust me, I'm not following it that closely. But Road Dog was on Twitter and he was being road dog as it regards COVID and masks. And to the best of my knowledge, I believe that he pretty much quit Twitter a couple of days ago. So that probably tells you the kind of reaction that he got from, from people. I'm sure he'll be back. But lo and behold, member of NXT Creative putting out all that stuff on Twitter. And we find out that there was another outbreak involving NXT. After news of positive COVID-19 tests at the Performance Center on Friday came to light on Tuesday night, there were questions as to whether fans who were scheduled to attend the taping today would be allowed to do so. Dave Meltzer reported WWE has confirmed with those fans that they can attend as previously planned if they pass the required COVID-19 test. It's unknown how many fans passed their tests, but they were initially scheduled to be 100 fans in attendance tonight. They were tested in Winter Park, Florida Tuesday part of the regular weekly procedure to attend. As I'm sure some of you are aware, they've been testing people on Tuesday. Then the show is Wednesday night. Now, granted, I mean, what's happening, and I've, I've heard it from fans, is that fans are getting tested, and then they're just going out to bars. And then they show up the next night. Now, if I were tested on Tuesday and I immediately went to a bar, I mean, I could contract COVID there, but there is a pretty slim chance that I would be able to give it to somebody else the next day. But still, this is not a perfect system. But regardless, fans are allowed in, and we don't know a lot about the Performance Center outbreak, but the impression that I was given was that it involved students, and the students and the main roster NXT wrestlers are kept apart. So it is believed that nobody involved in NXT on the main roster was exposed. But they still all have to be tested. So there is a possibility that this card that I'm going to go down right here may not be the actual card that you see tonight on NXT. There may be some changes. But as of yesterday, the card was Io Shirai versus Candice LeRae for the women's title. Spin the wheel, make the deal. Damian Priest versus Johnny Gargano, North American title. Spin the wheel, make the deal. Rhea Ripley versus Raquel Gonzalez. Whatever this haunted house of terror match is with Dexter Loomis and Cameron Grimes. And NXT Cruiserweight Championship non-title match. Santos Escobar will be facing Jake Atlas. Non-title match. And then the appearance by Pat McAfee. So I would like to make abundantly clear, by the way, that if we watch this show tonight and just throwing out a random name, let's say Dexter Loomis is not here tonight, okay? That does not mean that Dexter Loomis has COVID, failed his test or whatever. I mean, they remove people. They remove you if you test positive. They also remove you if you are in contact with somebody that tested positive. And we have seen that on the main roster where individuals were removed from the show for two weeks and they never had COVID. So if someone's missing tonight, maybe they have it, maybe they don't, maybe they were just in close proximity to somebody who did. But that's the lineup for Halloween Havoc tonight. And very quickly, Dynamite, Kenny Omega versus Penta in a tournament semifinal. Hangman Page versus Wardlow, tournament semifinal. Cody versus Orange Cassidy for the TNT title in a Lumberjack match. Winner gets Darby Allen. At the pay-per-view, Eddie Kingston versus Matt Seidel and the Inner Circle Town Hall with Chris Jericho and MJF. The Abaddon match where she was injured will not be airing on the show tonight in any form. So there you go, Mike. Any thoughts? I uh, There's no way I would be going to that show. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm amazed that they, when you have an outbreak like this, I would I would assume the responsible thing to do would probably be to close ranks and not have anybody inside that you don't need. But they're obviously not doing that. They want ambiance. But then, 
you just look at the hundred that are going and it's like, are you that starved to get out of the house? And if, especially if you're already in Florida, are you that, you know, starved to get out here and mix around in a place where they keep having outbreaks and they're being investigated by the state of Florida or however that worked uh, with the story last week. I just got to shrug at all of it. You know, I see it every week with football, uh, especially college football. It's just, it, it this bo- kind of boggles my mind, but then again, I don't know what anybody's breaking point is with all of this. And there are some people that are just, they're over it. And, and hey, g- uh, hey, it's always bad in the wintertime anyway, as far as health goes, as far as flus and, and all that sort of stuff. And now we got a new thing in the mix. And I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm blown away by it. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.